we going for San Diego. Keep it going for this guy. No claps out of you. I like the hard stance, dude. Didn't want to give it up. I like that. Fuck yeah. You guys feeling good? Woo! Sir, I can't help but uh, feel like we need to talk about how long you've been growing that beard for. It's uh, tough to move on with any sort of material when you show up looking like you just crawled out of uh, Jeffrey Dahmer's basement. It's a compliment. I can't grow a beard that's that heavy. Do you mind just giving a 360 to the uh, rest of the group here? You guys, yeah, you guys need to see. So, oh my God. It's Aquaman. Dude, I mean, you have, so, I mean, you must have, I don't know, at least two penis. Like what, you used to have like, there's a swagger to you that's effortless. What's your name? John. John, fuck yeah. What do you do here in San Francisco? You work in tech. Yeah, all right. Kind of an anticlimactic moment for all of us right now. <laughs> Fucking that look is just working in tech, but what's the tech that you're uh, pumping away at? Uh, machine learning. Machine learning. Yeah, I think you just made that up. But yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> no, machine. you're learning how to uh, uh, operate uh, machine... Yeah, to, yeah. What do you... Fuck, what do you do? Am I in a hidden camera show right now? What's happening? I don't think... Yeah. No, what does uh, machine learning mean? Break that down for us. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Have you guys done... Man, okay. This is... It's funny you're saying this because earlier today I was like, I want to pull up um, that... Is it the chat GTI? It's the stuff where you can... Oh, I forgot where I was. Yeah, it's chat, it's chat, chat GBT. It's, uh, it's actually... You're a couple letters off, man. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Chat GBT. You can type in chat BBT, but you're not going <laughs> to... You're not going to get the same thing. All right, thanks guys for the fucking awkward welcome. Uh, no, <laughs> I typed in. Uh, I was like, "Yo, let me get some. Uh, let me get some." You know, so this is the thing, right? Where you type it, like, there's like a blank space, and you can type in. Uh, it's a, basically it said, "Meet your new AI comedy writing partner to provide a joke setup, and it generates the zingers." So I was like, "All right, let me type in a little uh, phrase, and then see what the fucking sort of machine learning uh, I can pick up." Uh, <laughs> pick up on so I typed in I just this just came to me uh, don't judge I just said my mom just told me she's pregnant right I was like let's see let's see what AI does with that and it gives you three punchline options and the first is my mom just told me she's pregnant I told her congratulations you're going to be a great dad and then she hit me and I hit her <laughs> hilarious not going in the act but very funny uh, second one, my mom just told me she's pregnant. Number two, I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> yep, in some states that probably crushes. And you know what states I'm referring to. <laughs> and, and, yeah, very funny, you know. What's that now? Did I hear the snort? Uh, no. Is that your, your, is that your real fucking laugh, dude? Where'd that come from? Who was just falling out of a treehouse in the fourth row? Ah, 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 ah. Mom, you said the rope would hold. Ah, 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 ah. Oh man, the star of Goof Troop is here. Bro, that's an awesome laugh. Oh my god, you get invited out more than you anticipate with a with a chuckle like that, you know. There's people that got the silent laugh. There was a gal here last night, just no sound, just every time she laughed, just. He's just full on Benjamin buttoning right in front of us. <laughs> was COVID all right for you? As good as it can be, yeah. What do you do uh, work wise that kind of uh, COVID either helped or. or uh... Yeah, oh, there's that snort you were talking about, yeah. yeah. Now, why was that such a big, like, you were like, did you fucking hear that? Are you like against uh, people that snore? Or was it just, yeah, you are, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's just, yeah, you're just having some fun. What, uh, now is that a, is a snort, now that we're here, is that something that you, at what age, I guess, did you realize like, oh, I have something that's probably gonna get in my way of a lot of social engagements. <laughs> it's an adorable snort, I'll give you that. Yeah. Is it because you're brown? Oh, I don't like the direction that this is going right now, but. 
you guys been together a while. Yeah, I can tell there's some fun energy between you. Been recognizing all, all two years. And where'd you meet? Fuck yeah. And what, uh, what was going down that brought you two together? Party, friends, uh, work? For, and what's work? <laughs> nice. Were, were you selling him something and he or he? You both sell houses. And so maybe, was it? A networking mixer, yeah. And what sort of, what's the small talk in the real estate world? Is it just like, oh, there's a cool, because you know, with comics, we're talking about bits and tags and the cities you performed in. So I imagine in your world, it's, you know, man, there's a cool, there's a double decker house on, you know, fr you, know, in, you know, in Fresno that I'm trying to get this lesbian couple into. And then, and then he's like, yeah, you know, I hope she's not brown, right? And then you're like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Remember from earlier? Remember from earlier? All right. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, yeah. Um, so I guess I'm just curious, like, what's the sort of, what? I live in LA, yeah. Yeah, but from Seattle, yeah. From Seattle. Um, love that you just grabbed the wheel from this conversation, by the way. Uh, way to deflect. Uh, I, I don't know, Seattle's home. Well, I bleed Seattle, right? But LA is where my business is, so, you know, I gotta be there. Um, but there's, Seahawks suck? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you guys come up on stage and fight to the death? Although, dude, you know, no, uh, not hating on you, but that guy sounded like he, uh, you know, he's got a, he's packing something. You know, whether it's a knife or just, you know, a little extra thigh meat. Big football fan? Huge. Yeah, huge. Yeah. What's that now? Yeah. Uh, what's your name, sir? Chris. What is it? Chris. Chris, fuck yeah. Now, Chris, uh, your intention tonight, I'm sure, wasn't to do what you're doing right now, right? <laughs> you seem like a pretty stable guy that was like, I'm gonna go enjoy a comedy show, not try to, you know, make the room uncomfortable for everybody. <laughs> I feel like your wife had uh, a different game plan, you know? <laughs> but uh, what do you do for work, Chris? I'm a butcher. You're a butcher, fuck yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean? Uh, Wow, I'm pretty good at this. I fucking... I'm a butcher. Want me to prove it? No, I don't, Chris. No, I don't. <laughs> what's the best meat to uh, cut? I don't know what to fucking ask you. What's, uh, what's the best animal you like to slice and dice from its family? What, uh, what is the, what's the go-to meat, I guess, that people are uh, coming into your uh, shop? You have a shop? No, I work for Lucky's. I love that. What's Lucky's? Is that a bigger... A grocery chain, fuck yeah. Yeah, I was an Albertsons uh, kid up in Seattle. You guys have Albertsons here? Yeah. yeah. Shit, dude. Bought Albertsons. Yeah. yeah. Ladies buy Albertsons. <laughs> Little fun fact about Lucky's, they're in the purchasing game as well. <laughs> Let's go, Leonard. Poop, pop, poop, pop. Let's go, Leonard. You know, you play your cards right, you get lucky yourself. That's what I say to my husband. If he doesn't put a fucking Ginzu knife on me before we fuck. He brings his work home with him. Our four players eating ribs. <laughs> Lucky's about Albertsons. <laughs> oh, are you speechless? I'm not. I about 16 vodka sodas. <laughs> I could talk all night, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> By the way, she's definitely going to shit in a urinal later tonight. That's everything about, everything about the way she's sitting there. Screams catastrophe. <laughs> do you guys like to do karaoke when you guys aren't fingering each other in broad daylight? Yeah? I mean, can't keep your hands off each other. I love it. Is this new puppy love or what? You just fucked up. You're engaged? Oh, shit. Where'd you guys meet? Friends of friends? Fuck yeah, dude. Could you smile bigger? Or is that as big as your smile, guys? Yeah. This guy's got the biggest fucking teeth I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Jonah, fuck yeah. Well, who's your gal here? Lydia. Lydia. And when you guys met, uh, so the friends of friends. So it was an organic live in the flesh uh, meetup. Yeah. What, uh, do you remember what kind of the opening, you know, line was? It kind of like, uh, you know, bridge. You're shorter than I thought. You're shorter than I thought you'd be. Yeah. And you were like, oh. <laughs> wow, this guy means business. <laughs> yeah. So short, how short did you think she was going to be? Not five one, yeah. Yeah, and she's what, you're, you're, yeah, yeah. This is a compelling story, but we have to move along. Um, 
But thanks for coming out. Congrats, though. Jonah and Lydia. They met on Tinder? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck are you, man? They met on Tinder, dude. Don't let them fucking lie about their fucking bullshit 5-1 story, man. That's not real. That's not fucking real, dude. Every time Jonah and I go out, he's always lying about the way him and his girl, Lydia, not even a real name, uh, met. And I'm not standing for it, dude. I'm wearing my San Fran Giants hat and my fucking same hoodie I bought in 1996, and it still fits. And guess what? I'm calling Jonah out for his fucking bullshit, dude. You got to tell the truth, man. Who are you? Who are you, dude? Who are you, man? Well, congrats, man. That's <laughs> Jonah. How do you feel about kids at this uh, juncture? You guys are how old? Like you're in your twenties, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Twenty-eight. So kids, yeah, kids could be three or four, three or four years, or three or four kids. Three or four. Do you already have the the names picked out, or oh, this hasn't been discussed yet? No. We have, yeah, somewhat, yeah. Any names pop out that sound like like you know Jonah Jr. or uh, Jimbo? Jimbo. Oh, Jim. And what's your last name that would go along with that? Jim Pennington, yeah. How many boats do you have, Jim? <laughs> or Jonah, yeah. Jim, he will be Jim Pennington, and he will not be circumcised, but he will say his own name when he ejaculates. Just like his father. In fact, he might even say his father's name. Oh, 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 Jonah, sorry, I asked Jim Pennington the second, my brother, is in the other room listening. That's how we do it at the Pennington household, but... This night isn't about me, it's about you and getting you to Climax. If you'd like to go on the catamaran at 10 a.m. tomorrow, we can arrange that with Milton, our butler, who is also Lydia's father. Jim Pennington, get the fuck out of here. Hey, white guy. Hey, super white name. The whitest name in the land It doesn't get whiter than that Check out my bow, check out my hat I'm Jim Pennington I tuck my shirt in I take my dick out <laughs> Oh my god So funny so funny, dude. God bless you, man. Thanks for sharing that little tidbit. 80, man. You can still, uh, you know, pump away at 80. You know, I mean, you know, don't, don't get on a bike, as uh, Jojo Biden has proved. I don't know why Joe was on a fucking bike. Like, fucking, who in his camp was like, Mr. President, no one cares about your views on healthcare. They want to see if you can ride a 15-speed Huffy through a dusty terrain. And Joe was like, no problem, I got it. Roger, 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 Roger. Sean Jumanji? Is that what you just fucking said as you fell off a bike? He went full America's Funniest Home Videos. I was like, Joe, the sound and the fall. This footage should not exist unless you're trying to win $25,000 from Alfonso Ribeiro. I mean, you gotta control all, delete this out of your world. Joe Biden has stood back and watched. Joe's gotta step up at some point. Every first lady needs to come, uh, come correct with a campaign slogan. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Now, what are you anticipating is coming next, sweetheart? Yeah. Welcome to San Francisco? Yeah. Is it the Joe Biden joke that you're not a fan of? Just stop. Just stop? My man, was that for her or was that for me? No, no, I want to know. My, my, my man, was that for her or for me? Well, hold on a second. Yeah, who cares? I just want you know. Hey, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, mom. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna be the reason we all come together tonight. But thanks for trying. Yeah. Who cares? We can't all be Jim Pennington's son, right? Yeah. 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 
No, but man, I just, I just really want to know real quick. Was that, were you telling her like, hey, shut up, let him do the joke? Or were you like to me, hey, don't talk about this? The first one, for her, yeah. Don't talk about what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, so... You... Yeah. This is what happens sometimes when you break the fourth wall, you know? Everybody feels like they got a voice. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Uh, what's that? We're talking the Navy now. Yeah. Can we get this guy another drink? I think he needs to lick her up. I think this fucking... Yeah. We're talking the Navy. Sir, were you having a separate conversation in your head right there? We're talking the Navy now, man. And now we're talking the Navy. Oh, wow. All right, me. That's what it is then. We're talking the Navy now, dude. Uh, yeah. Well, he shouldn't say anything, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Either laugh or don't say anything. That's your only job tonight is laugh or don't laugh, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this piece of shit. This piece of shit's waving like we're giving you a moment. Dude, nobody gives a fuck about you. Yeah, I want you to stay. I want you to stay, but the show, you know how stand-up goes, you come, you laugh. If you don't like something, you don't laugh. You don't scream, I don't want to hear it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy when you break it down. You laugh, you shut up, you laugh, you shut up. Or you fucking don't come, you know? Yeah, it's easy. What do you do for work, sir? Sir, 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 what do you do for work? And then we'll move on. Sir, sir, what do you do for work? And then we'll move on. HVAC. HVAC. Yeah, yeah. He runs shit rich. He owns his own company. Okay. So, yeah, this speaks volumes uh, about what's going on in your world, sir. Yeah. Shit rich. You probably walked up these stairs being like, I could buy this fucking warehouse and turn it into a fucking peanut store, right? Like, you got crazy rich ideas. And I love that for you. But... I've been doing this 16 years, and I'm trying to fucking fulfill my dreams. So do me one solid and shut your fucking mouth, dude. Cool? Yeah. That's all you gotta do, baby. Just sit and shut the fuck up. Yeah. And now you've made me thirsty. Motherfucker got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and that's what happens, you know? Every time. This is exactly what happens. You can't get the J&J. &J. If you got the J&J, &J, I can feel that you're hanging on by a tampon string, and that was your choice. Never a good sign. By the way, if you got the J&J, &J, never a good sign when you get injected with anything, and the government comes out two days later, and they're like, uh, you didn't take all of it, right? I mean, we're, we're, hey, we still got some bubbles to work out, baby. Come on, give us a beat. Like, you don't want to go bungee jumping, get to the edge of the cliff, and hear the guy behind you go, whoa, whoa, don't go yet, it's not ready. I didn't get Pfizer, uh, Moderna, or j and I went to Costco. I got the Kirkland brand vaccine, which was uh, way cheaper. Yeah, upgraded my membership. What's going on with the three fellas here? Dude's night out? Yeah. All right, moving on. <laughs> yeah. What, uh, celebrating something or just fellas just fucking dude, Friday, man? How do you guys turn things up on a Friday in San Francisco? Drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what about me looking this way made you think I was fucking talking to you, sir? <laughs> but I do love how attentive and participatory uh, you're willing to be. Uh, and now that we're here, what sort of drugs are we, uh, are we talking about? Heroin. Yeah, okay. I'll take nobody uh, thought you were going to say any of that for a thousand hours. <laughs> fucking you open with heroin. Look at you, dude. Fucking Oxycontin was the feature in that... Uh, now I've never done heroin um, or coke. I've been around coke. I've seen. I've had like 15 Capri Suns in 20 minutes, and I feel like that's enough sugar to feel the coke experience. Heroin does what? What would be the pitch to? Uh, let's say. Let's say. Hi, sharks. Uh, have you? <laughs> you know, <laughs> feeling fucking tired of you know all your sentences making sense, and uh, you're fucking your family, you know, supporting you, and you know, what is? What would be the, I guess, the heroin, you know, uh, if you're trying to get us on board with why that's something we should throw into the routine? You want to feel really good? Question your sexuality. Yeah. The honesty on this kid is inf incredible. Question your sexuality. 
Yeah, so when I'm trying to suck my own dick, it's not gay if I'm on heroin. You know, so that's always chill. Um, <laughs> fucking cheese tastes better. What's the third thing? There's gotta be a third thing after questioning your own sexuality. Touch yourself with your limp hand? Fuck yeah, dude. Now, do you have a name to go with, uh, with this existence and everything that you're bringing to... By the way, you got a fun vibe. I've never, you know, I think... I don't know if I've met anyone who's done heroin live in the flesh before. But you, you strike me as a fun heroin guy. Your energy is, like, very, you know, like, fuck you, dude, like, fuck, you know. Do you have a job where heroin uh, doesn't get in the way? What's... Yeah. Right. So yes, we also would have accepted. What are you selling on heroin? Please say heroin. I'm a heroin dealer, so you can smoke your own supply or snort it or put it up your ass. Boofing's coming back. What's up, man? I like your stance. Look at you just fucking around. Yeah, dude, taking your glamour shots in the front row. What's your name, dude? Dustin, fuck yeah. What do you do out here in San Francisco, man? You got a, you got a fun... I, I don't live here, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm catering it. I mean, how much do you love this guy? I mean, dude, you've got, you've got like young Disney, like... Young, like the bad boy. Yeah, dude, you've got this like vibe to you where it's like, yeah, yeah, I might, you know, I might have cummed a couple times in the last week. Yeah, I got two laptops, baby. What's up? What's up? You need a ride to the airport? Cool. Let me see if my dad will let me borrow my car. His car. I call it my car, but it's his car. Dustin. You said Dustin, right? Fuck yeah, dude. So catering-ish. Break that down for us, Dustin. Because most caterers would go, I cater. And you were like, eh, ish. I mean, I bring the food out. I don't tell anyone to eat it, you know? What do you mean by ish? Like what's, and first of all, where do you cater? Like what? This sounds like a long fucking story, Dustin. Why don't you just send me an email? I'll CC the group and let's move on with the show. Um, I mean, all right, so when I was 10, which was a year ago, I, uh, you got a baby face. That works for you though, right? Look at you, you're at a table with four girls. It's working better than me, yeah. It's working better than me, all right. Fuck, dude. Dust, here I was, thought we were building some genuine rapport. And then you... I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that. That is, you gotta be able to hit them and hug them. You gotta be able to give it and take it. For sure. But I will take it from here. But I think that there's something about Dustin. But I do love, I do love that mindset, though, Dust. You gotta fuck it. You gotta roll with the punches, right? Can't take, can't take life. Uh, it is my job, yeah. Now, catering, what gets you into the catering world, I guess? Like, what made, because stand up, I always, you know, had a, a you know, a, a, an interest in. But catering, you know, that's the money, yeah? And how young are we talking, Dust? <laughs> this feels like a problem if you don't know. <laughs> Dustin, how much heroin did you buy? pre-show tonight enough yeah my man what was your name again ryan. ryan that's right now ryan what's funny is that like ryan like ryan's get yeah oh brian yeah yeah, yeah. let's like bon jovi yeah okay and this is sometimes the risk you run by talking to the audience is that everyone feels like they have a voice um, now, Dustin, real quick, you got four gals. How did you, uh, I guess, create um, this world for yourself? Are they all just homies? Or are you the most interesting man in San Francisco? What's that? Yeah. And does she like that you uh, announce it like that? One of them's mine? Yeah. This guy's got it figured out. Hey, man, they can't all get fingered on public transportation. No, dude, that's not something you say to make them want to hang out with you more. Uh, fuck yeah, and which ones, can I take a guess? I think it was, were you la who is it? Wh who's your girl here? Which one? Yeah. 
I don't think I like your fucking attitude right now, Dustin, if I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> Post show tonight, where's the, how do we turn things up? Like, what is it? Where, heroin, yeah. Walked right into that one, yeah. Well, I guess you are the person we should be asking, Brian. How do you, someone who's seen it all and questioned everything, how do you kind of go from A to B on a night like tonight? Everything you said has been fascinating tonight, Brian. <laughs> Finally, congrats, big deal. What, how, what do you think contributed to sealing the deal, Brian, if you don't mind me asking? Heroin. Heroin, yeah. But let's let Brian answer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Brian. She watches a lot of reality dating shows. Oh yeah, dude, all those shows, yeah. Isn't it so funny, those shows, when the, I always, it's baffling when the girls are like, they get voted off of that. I mean, I guess I, I don't, where do I go now? I guess I just go back home to the college for days. I can't believe I didn't find the man of my dreams on Fuck Me Island. Yeah, how about that? How about that, Christine? Can't believe you didn't find Prince Charming on, on Suck Me City, season two. How about that? I thought love, for, for real, I thought love is blind was just a bunch of blind people like feeling around, <laughs> trying to, you know, get their, I, 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 yeah, but it's not, but, um, so she loves the reality dating shows and that got her all, all excited about, uh, about what? I'm trying to connect the dots here, right? She, she compares me to the She compares you to the contestants. That feels like a fun game. Yeah, based on the girl's response, I, feel like this is probably not something that you're truly excited to be on the receiving end of. How, how does she, so she just goes, you're not as bad as them, and you're here, I guess, I'll fuck you. Like, what, how does she? Help me understand this, Brian. She says they're stronger. <laughs> were you crying the entire time you guys were fucking as she just completely destroyed your sense of worth? And they're blacker. <laughs> yeah, I can see how that might be an issue for her. <laughs> oh man, well, you are 100% Brian. Well, how was it, first time? Break it down for us, 2023. Fast. <laughs> oh. My God. Yeah, dude. Right on cue. Dustin, you have a do oh. And his girl's gone. Ooh. Okay. Bro, this guy's like Jack Sparrow's son, isn't he? He was like, all this talk about heroin and black hawks, let's go to the bathroom. Hmm. Oh, 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 fuck it. You do kind of got a Johnny Depp vibe to you, bro. I said you got a Johnny Depp vibe to you. Yeah. This is the future, by the way. Let's just all take a moment to remember. This guy will be looking out for us in 20 to 30 years. You know what I'm saying? Like when the aliens come down, if fucking everyone dies and you're like somehow at the forefront, they're gonna be like, all right, so what, so human being with the long, pretty hair and the somewhat kind of barely coming in mustache, what, what is it that you do? Uh, you know, cater-ish. <laughs> We're fucked is what I'm saying. Well, you guys were a blast. This was a, this was a fun show. Yeah. Um, God bless you guys, man. I like you guys' energy. Are you guys, are you guys? Yeah. <laughs> you guys were a blast. Thank you very much. I've had a good time tonight. You guys were amazing, man. Thank you very much for coming out. Did you have a good time tonight? Hey, you guys are incredible. God bless you. Happy holidays. See you outside. Thank you.